Hello, beautiful people out there. You're welcome to Him Debbie Creative World. Today, we are learning how to make our Ashoke Zara cap with crinoline design. The materials needed for this lovely cap you're seeing there is our Ashoke, your Mako, your color thread to match, your scissors and tape, thread and needle. For the measurements, we'll be measuring 27 inches in three places of this Ashoke line. Our Ashoke normal size is 6 inch. Our Mako will be measuring 19 inches by 3 inch. After which, we have to take it to our machine and we're going to join the three Ashoke together. For the design, the embellishments, we have our crinoline. And you can add flour to it at the middle if you wish to, if you want to. So I will go to my machine now and I will join these three together. I'll be right back. After we finish joining it like this, the next thing we'll do, first of all, try to know the middle of the ashoke. The middle. Because I don't want to cut. So, first of all, I'll know the middle part of it, which is here. Yeah, for the mako, you fold it like this, get the middle of it also. Get the middle, then we'll place the middle to the middle here. Then, we take our mako. You see? I'll take it to the machine and I'll sew down. I'll be right back. I'll take it to the machine and I'll sew down. So you see, after I put the marco and join it, I took it to the machine and I have to sew like this round. Here comes our Zara cup. Here comes our Zara cup. So it's time to do the embellishment. Here comes our Zara cup. After which, I'll take off my crinoline. I use 60 inches crinoline. I'll take my needle and my thread and I'll have to start tackling on this side that has rope. I'll start tackling, do uh, gather stitches on it. Okay, first of all, Jesus. I'll take my glue gum. And also, you use your thread to all both ends, do both ends so it does not loosen up. Or you are going to use our glue gum to gum both ends so it does not loosen up. Okay, you see, I'll do it on both ends like this. I'll be right back. See what I'm doing now? I take my needle and thread, and I'll start doing gather stitch from one end to another. After which, you can you have done with that big rows you do the same thing to the two inches um two and a half inches you cut for the other smaller crinoline if it's one you are using do the same thing if it is two you are using to do a fuller rose you do the same thing also you can use flowers to place at the edge of this big one you have done already so after which i took another two inches crinoline and i did the same thing that i did to this first one so that I can, I don't want to use flour. It can be at the middle, as a, standing as flour. So here I go. I take it and I add it to this one. And we add it to this one. Then, of which, after I'm done adding it, I'm going to put it at the back like this. So, here I go. 
i'll do this off camera and i'll be back thank you for watching so this is the end of our zara cup i had some trimmings at the front i just added this trimming at the front to make the design more lovely you can also do any other trimmings of any design you want at the front here comes our zara cap thank you for watching today's video tutorials thank you for watching today's video tutorials click on the subscription button if you have not done that just click on the subscription button to see more of our videos that we will be uploading and whatever design you want to learn you can just send a picture to me on my dm or on the comment section place the picture there i'll make a design and i'll send to you thank you very much for your time see you